Yo, hey, what's going on everybody? Alex with you here as usual. Thanks for dropping by for yet another chess video. I am outside on this nice Friday afternoon. It's windy, busy. The neighbors released their dogs on me already. And uh, here we are. Uh, we're gonna be taking a look at the DGT Easy Plus chess timer, chess clock. Right over here, this really cool little guy. Part of the reason that I actually decided to do this review was a couple of weeks ago on chess.com they've uploaded a video where they visited Magnus Carlsen's apartment or house. I'm not sure which one it was, but uh, he had this same exact clock on his table. He also had a chessboard that he talked about the fact that he purchased the chessboard because he realized he, he didn't even have chessboards in his house. So uh, I'm not sure if he uses this clock or if it was just placed there for marketing reasons. But I figured, you know, there's going to be a lot of people out there that are going to want to watch that video. And some people out there are going to say, hey, what about that chess clock? Has anybody done a review? And maybe there's going to be some people who would be interested in looking into this particular clock, whether it's for purchasing or just for, you know, like just like me you know just maybe somebody's just curious and wants to know a little bit more about it so here we go this is the dgt easy plus uh chess clock that retails on amazon i purchased this little guy for 34 dollars 50 with shipping and taxes i think it ended up running me about 40 dollars or so so not super expensive comparing to some of the other dgt clock models for example, the 2500 DGT, I think retailed close to 70 or $80. This is kind of an inexpensive option. Now, this particular clock is not only meant for chess, but you can also use it to play checkers, uh, domino, scrabble, bagaman, droughts, just about any game that is two people where you can basically, as it says here on the bottom, you can add some excitement to your game. So whether it's chess or any other game that you know, might require a little bit of time for the opponent to make a move, you can make the game a little bit more exciting by introducing a chess clock. One important consideration is that the clock did actually come with two AA batteries included stuff out and inside we have the clock. We have the clock and we have the instruction manual. Let me zoom in a little bit closer. In fact, I'm probably gonna switch positions because the sun is going down and the neighbor's dogs are really getting angsty. From the front, one of the first things that you'll notice pretty much immediately is just the lack of buttons. On the front, you have the on and off button that turns on the clock, such as this. You have a couple of buttons up, down, sideways, play, and then this little beeper. But before I do that, I just want to show you how the clock looks around. So this is the front facing part, physical characteristics, it's a pretty light clock overall. On top you have this black plastic button that has a really good amount of resistance that I feel like is just enough to make it where it just just feels right in my opinion on the back side you have the dgt imprint here and one of the things you'll notice is that when we look at the side of the clock here it's got this sort of a concavity here and then in the middle here it's got this additional little stabilizing platform in my opinion it looks really nice because it kind of makes it a little hollow inside and maybe maybe to some people it just looks more aesthetically pleasing to others maybe not we do have the compartment where the batteries go right over here it does accept two AA batteries that came included and um, it's really easy this part just slides out and slides back in a lot of times these type of electronics they'll have some kind of a little screw thing so you have to find the screwdriver but in this case it's just like very normal just pop it open all the way yeah, i can remove it like this put your batteries in there and pop it back in Right over here, you'll also see a couple of different uh, things that briefly describe the functionality of the clock, what each button does, and kind of helps to familiarize yourself briefly with how to use the clock. However, if you want additional information, you either continue watching this video or just go through the instruction manual, which is provided. So let me just show you kind of how it works. Here on the bottom, we have the on off button. We have the play, the side buttons, the plus minus, and then the, the sound uh, switch on and off. So when you turn this on, okay, so if you have the little sound indicator on, it'll actually make the beeping sound when it hits five seconds. And then when it 
So if you don't need that, like if you're in an environment where you don't want that, you can just turn that off at any point and it's really easy just, just like that, that turns on. So that's all that button does. This on and off button, there's a couple of things that it does. If you hit it for about two seconds, it'll reset it to the previous timer that you set it up. If you hold it for about three or four seconds, it'll actually turn it off. At that point, if you just hit it slightly, it'll turn it back on. And then we have a couple of things here. If you guys will watch me closely, I'll kind of explain this best I can. So that way it'll make it easier in case you do decide to invest into this clock. All right, so here's a couple of things that you can choose from. Here we have the game timer plus bonus. We have the game timer plus delay. So the, the delay option, if you choose that, it'll allow you to delay uh, the countdown by so many seconds. So let's say we do five seconds and then we click play. Um, this has 19 seconds on the clock for each person, but you see how it delays before starting the countdown. And then if we hit it on the top here, it'll give the opponent the same privilege, see, and then it'll start counting down. Same once again. So we know how that delay works. Now if we go back to the reset, um, we also have the option of doing the game timer plus bonus. And the bonus is, it's not like delay, it actually adds time. So if we do it like this and we click play, It'll actually, every time the game starts, you hit and it'll add the 10 seconds. So we chose 10 seconds, we can choose minutes, we can choose whatever we want, but see how every time I click, it adds 10 seconds to each individual side. So that's game timer plus bonus. You can also do just game timer, so without any delay or bonus. And if you do that, you can either adjust one side or you can adjust both sides at the same time like this. And you can go from one second for the whole game all the way up to, um, if you hold this upper button right here, it'll actually start going faster, as you'll see here in just a second. See, now it's going faster, all the way up until 19 minutes. Then what happens after 19 minutes, it won't allow you to adjust the seconds anymore past the 19 minute mark. See, now we're going into minutes. So if your game is 25 minutes, for example, and that's what you want it, you can have it on that, but it won't allow you to adjust the seconds. And it goes all the way up to nine hours and 59 minutes. I don't really see anybody having a 10 hour game, but you have that option, okay? So if you hit it like right now, there we go. We've got this person is going and, and we're off, okay? Um, if you wanna reset it, just hit it one more time and you can go to this. Now, past that, we've, we've discussed the delay plus game timer. We've discussed the game timer plus bonus. And of course with that, when you're adjusting, for example, the delay in the game timer, you're adjusting, um, first you're adjusting the delay, then you're going to adjust the timers, okay? So it's all pretty self-explanatory. Now, on the bottom here, we have the option to do move per, like timer per move. So if you wanna do that option, you can do, for example, um, Let's say you want a game where, I don't know whether it's chess or it's uh, something else, but let's say you wanna, you're want you playing a game where, where the individuals get only 10 seconds to make each move, you can have that option, okay? So, or like one minute or whatever. Then every time you, uh, every time you switch, it'll give you back that time. So let's just say, for example, I'm going, and each one, each person will get uh, one minute, okay? So we'll, let's adjust it. Here we go, ready? And then we'll click play. And so this person is, is going and now when we hit it, that person gets that minute back. So you only have one minute to make a move, but it's like, you know, it'll, it'll continue to work its way like that, okay? See, it'll go back to one minute. That's like move timer. Now, sometimes you have games that require like five seconds per move or whatever you can have that. Now you also have the move with save. So with save, it kind of works the same way. So for example, here, I set it for 10 seconds. What, what will happen is every time that you uh, click the top portion like this, it will actually add 10 seconds. So whatever you saved, let's say you ended up having a second left to your move, you can uh, add that second. So. If somebody's, for example, is working better than the other person, they will eventually have more time at the end of the game for their clock. See how it adds. So, and then we'll turn this off for now. So 
that's pretty much it to this clock. It doesn't have a whole lot of other stuff. I know some, some people were talking about on the reviews, they said that this clock was confusing. I think it's pretty straightforward once you kind of learn all these different things that it can do. Like I said, it can do the uh, time per move with save or without save. It can do the regular game timer for however much you want. And once again, if it's under 20 minutes, you can adjust the seconds. If it's over 20 minutes, then you can only adjust the minutes. Uh, with the bonus, so it'll give extra time every time, or with delay, if you wanted that option too, see? Um, that's about it. I know like a lot of clocks, for the, especially the, the, the DGT clocks, on the underside, they'll have a little chart uh, where like all the tournament times are stamped, and then you could like select a certain preset, and then just find that selection inside of the menu, and then you can set that. Part of what makes this clock easy, I guess, is that you don't have that big complicated chart in the back and you don't have to find a way to like uh, find where you're supposed to adjust it. All you have to do is just click this upper or up or down button and just wait for the time that you want, set things up and ready to go. Now, the nice thing is if you're, uh, if you're in a habit of playing the same like five minute game for example so let's say that we we want to go ahead and adjust the timer uh, for five minutes right i think this is ours and then you hit play and you're ready to go and when you when you win or lose the game you know you can press it for about two two seconds and it'll go back to that preset so you don't have to memorize anything it'll always be there so if you are playing like five, six games in the, at, at night and they're all five minute games, you know, all you have to do is just press it back and then it'll reset it back. So I think it's pretty easy overall. Now that the sun has gone down, it's like getting really chilly. So I'm feeling like I have to wipe uh, my nose. But yeah, it's a pretty cool clock. I think it's uh, worthwhile. It's for the price. I think it's uh, definitely priced at a budget level. $34 maybe even cheaper somewhere else but Amazon usually offers pretty good prices I'm not affiliated with DGT so uh, this is kind of my honest opinion about it I was just curious like some other people were curious I was watching that video on Magnus and I thought to myself hey that looks like a pretty neat clock and um, so I ended up getting it and the delivery was pretty quick probably a couple of days so anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, please be sure to hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below what you think about this particular clock. And uh, be sure to stay safe. Uh, stay indoors if it's cold outside. Don't want you guys getting sick. And I'll see you guys in the next video, okay? Bye-bye.